Hey guys, so I had a whole video recorded. We're gonna talk about the Mario All-Star situation, the limited release, we're gonna do a whole, whole big old rant about it. But then I met this lovely fellow, Logan of Red Bandana Gaming. We had a whole conversation um, about the 3D All-Stars. So Alex went ahead and tweeted a, an image of this and was talking about how Nintendo fans are quite sensitive because of the disappointment with the All-Stars collection. Now, there's been a lot of talk about this. Most people are upset about the limited release, but there are a, also a pretty loud portion of people that are upset just that, for example, it's not full remakes or that they didn't increase the frame rate or that they didn't increase, you know, certain aspects of the game. Those things are mi mildly disappointing. Like, for example, I would have loved for Mario 64 to have 16x9 support widescreen, or I would have loved for the game to support GameCube controllers pressure uh, triggers properly. But those are all minor, minor aspects. These are ports, whatever. My issue is that it's limited and that it's literally being deleted from stores after March. That is fucking stupid, and you're an idiot for doing that, Nintendo. Anyways, this person, Logan, doesn't think so. Um, the collection will be awesome. I respond back, of course. He thinks it's not a problem. And, you know, just go ahead and buy from the scalpers if you can't get it. Whatever. Thinks that it's okay not to get the game, etc., etc., etc. He just kind of goes on and on, calls me a snowflake. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So I decided, hey, he actually made a video on this, on this topic, and uh, we're going to we're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch this video here. I've not actually seen this yet, but it's called Mario 3D All Stars Limited Release is not a bad thing by Red Bandana Gaming. It's at the start here. I haven't seen anything on this yet. I did give it a dislike, obviously, because fuck this guy. But we're gonna go ahead and watch it together, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna pick this thing apart. So let's go ahead and start. What? Oh shit! That's how you know that I'm not editing this because I uh, forgot to turn the sound off my speakers. Okay, let's back that up. Let's try this again. What the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start fucking saying that in real life. Just welcome to Red Bandana Gaming. This shit's great. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay. All right. I'm paying attention. I promise. <clears throat> nice lightsabers, bro. It's a 23 second fucking intro, dude. Look, it's a 23 second intro. You might want to trim that down a little bit there, bud. Logan here. And <clears throat> as you guys see, I didn't really address the Mario 35th anniversary. Um, I didn't think I really needed to. It was a. Doesn't think that the Mario 35th anniversary is worth responding to, but. Whatever. A great it's Nintendo Direct. Nintendo showed <laughs> a lot of awesome games, and especially with the new Mario Kart toy thing that is like an AR game. That was really cool. The uh, that was that was my takeaway too. There, Logan. Out of everything we saw at that Direct, the most exciting thing was definitely the fucking Mario Kart toys. The Game and Watch that they're going to release. I'll be buying that, of course. But uh, it, it's it's really. Wouldn't want uh, Nintendo to you know not get all your money, man. I mean, you might. Who know, who knows what's gonna happen if you don't spend every fucking dollar you have on every Nintendo product without questioning any of the quality or even asking for something better than what you have. I mean, it's it's clear you run a Nintendo channel there, buddy. So I understand wanting Nintendo products, but maybe just bring it down a notch, man. Maybe maybe every single person who actually uses their brain thinks and says hey maybe this isn't great maybe this could be changed could be different maybe they're not all snowflakes and and whatever else you want to want to call them like i'm sorry that we can think freely and say hey maybe 
selling a game and then removing it from the eShop completely, a game that people want and have asked for for a long fucking time, just taking that and just ripping it away, saying you cannot buy this now. In the middle of a pandemic, when the Switch is sold out, you can't buy Switches, people can't afford Switches, and they're saying you have a limited time to buy this thing, or else you just miss out forever. That's fucked up. But let's see how you go ahead and justify that there, Logan. The cool thing, there's millions of videos out there that got <clears> like minutes. I woke up late that day and it just, I saw it all over everywhere and I went, Oh well, okay. So, okay. for those of you who do subscribe, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, I, I'm not gonna what are you subscribe. doing? Hit that subscribe button. I and will not before do that, we get sir. any further, visit our Teespring. Oh my god, you wanna help okay, us out? We're gonna like you, fucking you, videos skip all this. Some BS on right. Twitter and people complaining. Oh, here we go. BS on so, so, all right, he's gonna talk about the, the Twitter BS. Teespring. Now let's get on with it. So, this guy's got like 400 subscribers. How the fuck does he have a merch store? Apparently, I. Why the fuck does he have a merch store? And Whatever you do, you buddy. Yes, on Twitter. Get your money. People complaining that the Super Mario 3D All Stars is a limited release. Yeah, it's worth and complaining about. Complaining. Hopefully, hopefully Nintendo they're changes their mind. Mad? They're yelling at Nintendo. <clears throat> well, one. Every video game you've ever purchased is a limited release. Bullshit, Logan. I can go on my uh, eShop or my PSN or my Xbox Live right now and buy every fucking game released for those consoles. The only exception being this one. Because this is the only fucking game that's doing that. It's a limited release on purpose. There are always going to be exceptions. PT, for example, that got pulled from stores. Uh, Scott Pogan vs. The World, that got pulled from stores. You know what people have been doing ever since that happened? Begging for those fucking games, the demo, uh, P the PT demo and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World to be put back on the eShop or on the stores or wherever, you know, wherever they were purchasable. People have been asking for that shit for years now. Literal years. Because they either missed out, got new accounts, whatever. Whatever it may be. This is different. This is a limited release that is purposefully being taken off of stores after the uh, expiration date or whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is not a game that is just having, you know, oh, we're doing a limited run physical version, but you can keep buying the digital run anytime. No, you can't. You cannot buy the digital version after March. That is not nearly the same thing, Logan. It's not the same thing, you fucking moron. They do not stay brand new, released to store shelves forever. No shit. Yes, this is a limited time. Why? Because it's in celebration of Mario's 35th. You know who else does limited time releases? Limited run gaming. But you know what they do, buddy? They release physical versions of digital games. Games that are already on the eShop, PSN Store, Steam, whatever the fuck. They release physical versions of those games so you can buy them physically if you want to have them on your shelves, want to have, you know, game pre preservation, that kind of stuff. That's awesome. That's not what we're talking about. If they were just discontinuing the physical version, no one would have a problem. The problem is that they're making a physical version of the game and then a digital version of the game and the digital version of the game is being removed from eShop. You cannot buy this game anywhere after March. The only place you can buy this game after March is used from scalpers, people who are going to take advantage of the fact that you missed out, either because you couldn't afford it, you didn't have a switch, whatever it may be. Whatever the reason, they're limiting the digital release to Logan. That's the problem. The digital version is the problem. Birthday. There you go. It's a limited release. And what about limited run or strictly limited or any of those other guys? That's their entire business model. So that's... Yes, that's their entire business model, Logan, but they don't do it of games that... I'm not even going to repeat myself here because you're not going to listen, but... Holy shit, it's it, it's baffling to see someone this this ignorant, this stupid. He's completely missing the entire point of this. Whether out of out of willful ignorance or he just actually is that dumb. I don't know. I don't know, but judging by the way he has been talking to people online, I'm gonna assume it's just him being an idiot. Scummy is what somebody said on Twitter, and I was like, He's talking about me. Really? He's talking about me. That was me. I said that. I said it was scummy. He knows who I am. I feel, I feel so happy right now. 
Thank you, Logan. Thanks, buddy. Really grow up. It, you've got like six months to buy. If you can't buy a $60 game within six months, maybe you shouldn't be buying video. What if you don't have a Switch, man? It's not just $60, it's, it's $60 for the game. And $400 for a Switch that is out of stock. The Switch has been out of stock for like five months. Some people don't have Switches yet. You think they're gonna go out and buy a game for a system they don't even own yet? Like, okay, yes, if, if, if worst case scenario, if you want this game, Nintendo's gonna fuck you over. So if you want this game, get it physically and get your Switch later. I know it sucks, but that's what you have to do because Nintendo is purposefully saying you cannot get this game. So yeah, Logan's right. If, if, if you got other stuff to worry about, don't go out of your way to go get this and, and, and waste your budget. But the fact that you don't have the opportunity to save up if you want to, deal with the pandemic we are currently going through, keep your money for your family and your living situation and food and rent and bills and all these other things that are way more important than games. The fact that Nintendo's saying, no, you can't wait. If you don't buy this now, you will never get to buy this game. Never. If this was a new release, if this wasn't just a bunch of ports, there'd be fucking rioting in the streets. I bet you even Logan would be upset about that, but that's beside the point. We don't deal in hypotheticals, we deal with the now. And the now is, this guy's dumb. Video games, maybe you should think about where you're investing your money or, you know, what you're doing with your with your time and your money if you can't buy one in one $60 game. And perfect like victim blaming like if you don't have the money to afford this game you don't deserve to play it ever not it not it it's not a matter of oh you're you don't have the money right now but you will later no that doesn't matter it's you you're the problem not nintendo for arbitrarily limiting the time you have to purchase the game it's your fault for not managing your money properly fuck off logan in a six month period i know it sounds pretty rough but Maybe? Maybe you shouldn't be buying video games of $60 in six months. It's not even $10 a week. It's not even $10 a month. That's not the point, Logan. That's I not the point. Um, so I've got mine coming. <clears throat> but yeah, so. Logan, I ported it too. I'm allowed to criticize things that I like. You don't have to just mindlessly shill and bootlick for a company who doesn't give a fuck about you. I don't know, it's it's coming digital, it's coming physical, there's gotta be a way to get it. Yeah, I am gonna get the physical copies. Like I said, I got two. And I will be uh, probably keeping one sealed, uh, the other one goes to my wife, and then I'll probably be buying it digital to actually play it, just because I know this is going to be one of those games that's probably gonna hold value later on in the future. <laughs> Purposely, uh, he's, he's admitting to purposely buying multiple copies of the game to resell later, that's pretty funny. So, yeah, I, I, I don't see the issue. Um, if you have a problem with it, scream at a wall, you know? Or you could just voice your opinion to Nintendo like we've been doing, and then you call us snowflakes. What are you, in an echo chamber? Come on. Nobody cares. I know this sounds right. Millions of people care, Logan. A lot of people care. Have you not seen Twitter for the past few days? It's all people are talking about, and as far as the gaming sphere goes. Everyone's talking about how bullshit this is. It's it's literally just you who doesn't care. Rough, but it's a special limited edition things. A lot of things in the gaming world, a lot of games, a lot of special edition consoles, special are limited releases, and this is what people are complaining about. Yeah. Yes. I I don't. Did we not make that? Did we not make that clear? This, this is what we're complaining about. The fact that they are purposefully, arbitrarily limiting purchase of this game for no reason. That's what we're complaining about. Thought you could have put that together, but this all's wrong. It's a limited release game for Mario. Got the serious your face. Your birthday's only one day a year. Hey, it's nice that they're doing this for almost six months. We got September. Because it comes out September 18th. September, October, November, December. It's giving us a January, lesson in how months work. Glad you brought up birthdays, Logan. What happens if, say, God forbid, your birthday isn't until later in the year? Say your birthday is, I don't know, 
what's before September, August? Say your birthday's next August, right? Thank you for that lesson in the months, by the way, because if you didn't give me that lesson, I wouldn't have known what month was before August, uh, before September. But say, for example, your birthday's in August. So that means you either need to hope that somebody, you know, for the, for the children out there, Mario appeals to the children, right? They can't just go buy their own games, they have to get them for presents. They go to get the game, their parents go to get them the game, doesn't exist. Can't get the game anywhere because March or April, excuse me, April 1st rolled around, the game's not on store shelves. They start shopping for birthday presents around May, realize, oh shit, literally zero copies of the game out there. They check eBay, oh yeah, the $400 uh, fucking scalp copy of the game. Kid just doesn't get to play the game ever, by the way, because literally pulling it from the eShop forever means they cannot get the game. Ever. Unless they reissue, change their minds, or port the game somewhere else. I'm hoping for one of those three solutions to happen eventually. They've done limited physical editions in the past that have been reprinted, so I'm holding out hope that they reprint another round of physical copies later next year, and I'm also hoping that they change their mind and do not re remove this goddamn game from the eShop, because that would be so stupid. Um, worst case scenario, Switch 2 comes out and they port the game to that or something. I don't fucking know. Right. March. So it's a total of Actually, because it comes out on the 18th, you get six and a half months. Six and a half months. There's no problem with that. So There's a big problem with that. I'm assuming he doesn't have think. anything else to Do you say. Think I'm being ridiculous. Yes, on Logan. My point of view, it, you've got six and a half months yeah. to buy this game, and Nintendo will not put it in any short supply. What? Nintendo won't put it in short supply? Do you not know who the fuck you're talking about? It's Nintendo, the company who's known for artificial scarcity. That's literally the one thing they're known most for when it comes to this shit. Have you not seen... <laughs> oh my god. For a Nintendo fanboy, Logan, you know nothing about the company you suck the dick of. This is, this is ridiculous. Did this man just seriously say Nintendo won't artificially fucking... <laughs> We're talking about a company here. Nintendo. I fucking love Nintendo, by the way. S fucking Smash Tattoo and all the other shit, right? Love Nintendo. But, dude, this, like, <laughs> it's like one of the things they're known for, man. You're talking about a company who's literally artificially reducing the supply of this game already by removing it from the eShop in, in April. What makes you think they're not going to do the same thing to the physical copies? They already said it's a limited, small print run of the physical copies. There's not many to go around with this game. There's not many copies to go around. I don't know the numbers, but judging by their word choices, the fact that pre-orders are already selling out places, and the fact that this is goddamn Nintendo we're talking about here, I have no reason to believe that there will be ample supply. Zero reason to believe that. And you're an idiot if you think that there will be between those six months, six and a half months, you will be able to find it everywhere. So just go pick it up. And like I said, if you can't afford one $60 game, maybe you should- Privileged asshole, games, dude. Maybe you should invest, maybe you should save. What a save, fucking asshole. So later on down the line, that's not gonna be a problem. This mentality- it's like, Again, it's like- This mentality is sick. Like legitimately sick. Like limited run. Limited run releases everything for just a few week period. So that all the games on limited run are also available digitally. The fact that I need to explain that shows how much of an idiot this guy is. It's not scummy. No, it isn't. It isn't. None of these companies just because yes, it's, a it's scummy. Release, it's a special makes you know the the product or the game or something actually feel more special instead of releasing bajillions of them to everyone yeah so his logic is limiting it like this makes it more special makes the people who have them better people better fans oh this is just a special occasion nah man it's a fucking video game it's a fucking video game dude it's not some crazy like Oh, hyper cool event, limited only, you can only get on the eShop during this day. No, dude, that's bullshit. Leave it on the eShop, let it be purchasable whenever, anytime, forever. As long as the eShop is up, this game should be purchasable. That's the end of story right there.
So then you end up with Madden, which next year is worth $2. And don't get me into that, but that's another story. So, again. Another point of his argument is that it keeps the game worth more. Ar ar artificially, dude. You're just going to have scalpers who take advantage of the fact that this game is literally no longer being made, selling the game for hundreds of dollars. Yeah, Fire Emblem fucking Path of Radiance is worth a ton of money, but it's not actually worth that money. It's just because it's being scalped and sold for way more than it's worth because you can't find it anymore. That's why emulators are so huge for that fucking game. It's one of the most emulated games on the goddamn Wii, or the GameCube in the, in the case of the other one. Um, uh, Radi or actually, scratch that, reverse it, sorry. But yeah, Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance, super highly emulated games because they're so rare. Now, does that make the game worth a lot, or does that mean scalpers are assholes who just artificially inflate the prices of games by selling them for way more than they're worth? Because I think it's that one. I think it's that one. And if you can't get this game, just emulate them. Just fucking emulate them. Honestly, Dolphin will handle these games better than um, the Switch could in a million years. I mean, Mario Mario Sunshine in widescreen, 4K, 60fps, that's already better than the Switch anyway. So, I, I don't know what else to say here. Logan, you... Tell me what you guys think. Entitled Logan, asshole. Red Bandana Gaming. Shit video. Shit video. But I'm glad we watched it. I'm glad we watched it. I'm really glad that... I'm really glad that this happened. And that I got under this guy's skin so much that he made a video. But then on the same case, he got under my skin so much I made a video. Holy shit, guys. I got a lot to think about. While I'm thinking, let me know in the comments what you think down below. Do you think it's okay that Nintendo's artificially limiting supply of this game and removing it from the eShop entirely? Or are you a regular person and thinks that it's not okay to do that and, and are uh, not an asshole like this guy? Because I, I would appreciate it if you're that kind of person, not the other kind of person. But I'm out of here. I'm gonna go, I don't know, like play a game or something or some other shit. I don't know. I guess I'll figure out later. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay classy. Don't subscribe to this asshole, please. I really would appreciate it if you didn't.